However, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 3 to the power of k plus 1, then plus 3 to the power of k minus 1. This is equal to 16. So what is the value of k given that k is not equal to 0? So let's provide a solution from here. Now, this exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m. Again, this exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n minus m, which we can express as a to the power of n over a to the power of m. So applying these two exponent properties, then we have 3 to the power of k times 3. This is 3 to the power of 1, then plus 3 to the power of k divided by 3. This is equal to 16. Now, 3 to the power of k is common here, so we can factor out 3 to the power of k into the parentheses. Here we have 3, then plus 1 over 3. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 16. Now we have 3 to the power of k. Now, into the parentheses, we have that 3. This, this is a whole number, so we have 3 over 1. Then the LCM is 3. 3 divided by 1, this is 3 times 3, this is 9. Then plus 3 divided by 3, this is 1. 1 times 1, this is 1. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 16. So we have 3 to the power of k into the parentheses. Here we have 9 plus 1, this is 10 over 3. This is equal to 16. So the next step, we multiply both signs by 3 over 10, and also here by 3 over 10. So that now, 10 and 10 simplifies, 3 and 3 simplifies, so that we have 3 to the power of k, this is equal to, now, here we have, we can simplify 16, 16 divided by 2, this is 8, 10 divided by 2, this is 5. So 8 times 3, this is equal to 24, divided by 5. To solve for the value of k, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so that we have log 3 to the power of k, this is equal to log 24 divided by 5. Now, we have that rock 3 to the power of k. This is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which we can express as n rock a. Now, applying this power rule property of logarithm. Now, applying this property, rock 3 to the power of k becomes k rock 3. This is equal to rock this is 24 divided by 5. The next step is, let's divide both signs by rog 3. So here we have rog 3. If we simplify here, then we have that k is equal to rog. This is 24 divided by 5. Then everything here divided by rog 3. The next step is that rog 24 over 5, this is in the form of rog a divided by b, which we can express as rog a subtract rog b. Now, applying this logarithm property, then we have that k is equal to, this is rog 24 divided by rog 3. Then subtract rock 5 divided by rock 3. Now the next step is that we can express 24. This is the same thing as 8 multiplying by 3. And therefore we have that k is equal to rock 8 multiplying by 3 divided by rock 3. Then subtract rock 5 divided by rock Three. Now, the next step from here, rog 8 times 3, this is in the form of rog A, multiplying by B, 
which we can express as rog A plus rog B. Now, here we'll have rog 8 divided by rog 3, then plus rog 3 divided by rog 3, then we have subtract rog 5 divided by rog 3. So, rog 3 and rog 3 simplifies, so this is 1. So that now, here we have 1 plus rog 8. Rog 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 divided by rog 3. Then subtract rog 5 divided by rog 3. So now, applying the power rule property, rog 2 to the power of 3 becomes, now here we have 1 plus, now here we'll have 3, rog 2 divided by rog 3, then subtract rog 5 divided by rog 3. Now we have that rog 2 over rog 3 and rog 5 over rog 3. This is in the form of rog A divided by rog B, which we can express as rog A to base B. So let's apply this logarithm property so that now we have that K is equal to 1 plus 3 rog 2 to base 3 subtract rog 5 to base 3. So this is the value of k. This is the value of k. The next step from here is to verify that this value of k satisfies the equation. So let's verify. So if you recall, we have that 3 to the power of k plus 1, then plus 3 to the power of k subtract 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. So let's substitute the value of k so that we have 3 to the power of k which is 1 plus 3 rog 2 to base 3 subtract rog 5 to base 3 then plus 1 then now plus we have 3 to the power of 1 plus 3 rog 2 to base 3 subtract rog 5 to base 3 then subtract 1 this should give us a value of 16. Now, here we have 3 to the power of 1. Let's see, 1 plus 1, this is 2. So we have 3 to the power of 2, then plus 3. This is rog 2 to base 3. Subtract rog 5 to base 3. Then plus, now here we have 3. This is 1 minus 1. So this becomes 0, then plus, here we have 3, rog 2 to base 3, then subtract rog 5 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. So we have that 3 is a power here, so we can express this as 3 to the power of 2, then plus, this is rog 2 the power of 3 to base 3 then subtract rog 5 to base 3 then plus here we have 3 to the power of 0 then plus now 3 is a power so that's why it's rog 2 to the power of 3 then to base 3 then subtract rog 5 to base 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 16 now, the next step from here, 3 to the power of 2 plus rog 2 to the power of 3 to base 3 minus rog 5 to the base of 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplying by a to the power of m. And again, this is in the form of a to the power of n minus m, which we can express as a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m. So, applying these two exponent properties, here we have 3 to the power of 2 times 3 
to the power of rog, 2 to the power of 3 to base 3, then divided by 3 to the power of rog, 5 to base 3, then subtract 3 to the power, now here we had, this is plus 3 to the power of 0, this is, we have 3 to the power of 0 times 3 to the power of rog, 2 to the power of 3 to base 3, then divided by 3 to the power of rock 5 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. Now, the next step is that we have 3 to the power of 0. Remember, this is in the form of a to the power of 0. This is the same thing as 1. Okay, so 3 squared, this is equal to 9, multiplying by... Now we have 3 to the power of 2, this is equal to 9, multiplying by 3 to the power of rog 2 to the power of 3, divided by 3 to the power of rog 5 to base 3, then plus 3 to the power of 0, this is in the form of a to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. So this implies that 3 to the power of 0, this is 1, multiplying by 3 to the power of rog, 2 to the power of 3 to base 3, divided by 3 to the power of rog 5 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. The next step is that 3 to the power of rog 2 to the power of 3 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of rog b to base a, and this is essentially supposed to give us a value of b. So this implies that 3 to the power of rog 2 to the power of 3 to base 3 this is a, this is equal to 2 to the power of 3 and this is equal to 8 and that's 3 to the power of rog 5 to base 3 this is equal to 5 so let's substitute 8 and 5 so that now we have 9 multiplying by 8 divided by 5 then plus here we have 1 times 8 divided by 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 16. Now the LCM here is equal to 5. So that now we have 5 divided by 5. This is 1. Then we have 9 times 8. This is equal to 72. Then plus 5 divided by 5 is 1 times 8. This is equal to 8. And this is supposed to give us a value of 16. So this implies that 72 plus 8, this is equal to 80 divided by 5. And this is supposed to give us a value of 16. So 80 divided by 5, this is equal to 16. So we have that 16 is equal to 16. So the left, we have that 16 is equal to 16, and therefore the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And this proves that the value of k, which is equal to 1, plus 3, rock 2 to base 3, subtract rock 5 to base 3, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please subscribe. See you in the next video.